What's up, fellow naughty steppers? I hope you're having a fantastic day, whichever day you are viewing this on. I've got uh, got my homeboy Skrillex there in the background. Have a look at that. Yeah, nice little wiggle of the face there. Um, I'm just going to cut straight to the chase with this one. As some of you may know, those of you who have been watching the videos uh, regularly on a consistent basis, I have been uh, mentioning in some of them at the end uh, whether you would like to see anything beyond the EP album compilation reviews that I've been doing. And one of the ideas that I stumbled across myself was uh, documenting the nights that I go out on. Because in London, they are a bit of a rarity. They're not happening too often in London, and they haven't done for the last few years, actually. It's stepping up a bit. Uh, in this next year and especially in March to be honest I'm seeing uh, there's an NSD night uh, I'm also seeing the likes of Jackal and Rez there's just a lot going on basically slushy they don't happen a lot as I said but they're definitely happening enough that I can document them and you know make some short little films I mean it's just another way of you know showing you guys what I've been doing uh, the different ways that I am going to be uh, pushing this channel forward beyond those standard EP album compilation reviews. And I came up with the title through thinking of what these events are. They are essentially raves and I am reviewing them. And if you put those two together, you get the term rave reviews. So I think that's a nice little, uh, nice little Whitmore play on words there once again. <laughs> but yeah, I think that's all the information that you need with this one before launching into it. So, yeah, I hope you enjoy the review and the live wubs that will be coming your way. Peace! What is up, fellow naughty steppers? Welcome to the first episode of Rave Reviews. Uh, making my way to London Underground Tube now. I'll be going into Belsize Park, coming out of Camden, before seeing a couple of mates and then going off to Vauxhall and Fire Club, where... I will be seeing a slew of very heavy dubstep artists, including Mode Step, DJ Set, Bad Clark, back to back with Trolley Snatcher, that's going to be fucking nuts, Pogman, uh, got Murder in there as well. There are a host of other artists playing, uh, I think there's about 15 in total, they probably split up into two rooms, I uh, can't remember all of them off the top of my head, but um, it's just... A load of really heavy, dark, underground artists. I cannot wait. It's the first huge gig of 2018. And it's free as well. They've given this one away for free, which is very nice of them. So yeah, on with the show. What I got on for that, cousin? <laughs> Got the fucking love London, eh? Are they ready for it? <laughs> a male passenger on a transport vessel, like an airplane, or, or, or any other. He finds opportunity. He finds opportunity in a female attendant with a refreshment cart, trolley, <laughs> this is definitely not the right or one. Or likewise, table in which the male. Passenger can reach underneath said cart slash trolley and grab <laughs> slash snatch her vaginal region. <laughs> Surprising. <laughs> no, 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 that's not that's a thing. That's not real. <laughs> guy, you can give a quote. Like, guy one, bro. Trolley snatcher, <laughs> what is he saying? I took a trip to Vegas last name, month mate. and totally trolley snatched this banging flight attendant. But that's Jeez. not real. Oh, wait, that's not her. Wait. Oh, I thought this guy was there. Yeah, what was it? Vibes in. What's your favourite dubstep song of all time? Of all time? For like... Enjoy to say it, maybe. Hey, sexy lady. Yeah. Or Blood Red. Or... Jeez. Or a Zed Zed song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got a lot of... Saxon. Eastern Jam. On the right-hand side. For sure, for sure. Change for National Rail Services. Well, well I wasn't prepared for that, I wasn't prepared for that. Finbar and Stasi, best name in the whole world. 
and these two. Um, there it is. There it is. What is the Druid Getter fix? Hit him up on SoundCloud. Q for the event. Swiss Cottage Tube. Pretty heavy night. 
uh, highlights definitely came from Bad Clark and Mr. Trolley Snatcher himself. A lot of good sets, a lot of gritty sounds. Nice mix of bro step and rhythm throughout, I'd say. Uh, I don't feel like anyone that played focused too heavily on either of those. So it was definitely a good night in that respect with regards to the variation. Coming up to five o'clock, signing out for the first episode of Rave Reviews for the Naughty Step channel. Thank you for watching and uh, stay tuned for future episodes. See you in the next one, fellow Naughty Steppers. Much love. Peace. Just want to say guys in this brief outro how grateful I am that people like this are still putting on events because, you know, as aforementioned, they are a definite rarity in England and even in London, to be honest, even though it is such a hub uh, for music, it's still definitely the case that it is bereft of this kind of hard hitting, dark electronic music. So any event that comes along is hugely welcomed basically and you know shout out to fire they're always very on point with the visuals and the lights uh, especially for such a compact and intense room i think they do a really good job in that respect one drawback that i would say with fire was that they could not provide any earplugs i went there thinking that it was a formality and that i could just walk in and i'd go to the bar and they'd give you free earplugs as it as they are meant to I don't know if it's the case in the US and Canada and Australia, other places, but in the UK, in all uh, club venues, it is a legality for them to supply free earplugs to anyone that wants them. And they didn't have any, which left me a little bit worried during the night as to whether my hearing would go at some point. Like, honestly, the sound was so intense and I didn't want my ears to just be ringing for the entirety of the following day. So... I mean, I, I was a little bit peeved at that, I'm not gonna lie, but you know, hopefully this is something that they'll work on in the future, you know, if they see this video, something that they can ensure will happen next time because whilst it isn't something that would stop me going to the event, it, it is something that they need and something that has to happen. Um, they, they can't be letting down their customers like that. Oh no, oh no, the ears are an important thing because you know, if we didn't have them, then we wouldn't be there, would we? And lastly, I'd like to say a massive shout out to Bad Clark and Trolley Snatcher, who I saw after the show and they were very nice. You know, I, I was complimentary of their back-to-back uh, -back set because it was great. Um, but yeah, they were just very nice and open to talk about things. So yeah, viva la dubstep, viva la bro step, viva la rhythm. A big night, as I said, got in there around half 11, left at just after four, after Pogman set. So yeah, it was a great event. Um, hoping to be attending other uh, nights in the future with earplugs in tow. So that's that for the first episode of Rave Reviews. Thank you guys very much for watching once again. Uh, hope you can get on with this idea. It's just a little experiment, as I said at the moment. But uh, yeah, I think it was a, just a good thing to do to show you guys what kind of events I'm gonna be going to uh, in the future and now. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video and in the meantime keep it naughty because if it's naughty then you know. Poosh, 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 poosh.